Waterfall. There's many, many a bigger mountain waterfalls up there yonder. Ben Navis, maybe up in the clouds there, tallest peak around here. Hey there, so today is uh, September 12th, 2018, and Sandy and I flew from uh, Switzerland, had a wonderful time out at Interlaken, Young Frau Marathon. Get the recap video, minute of this video. Uh, fifth place there. Pretty solid. I, I always want to try to win and do better, but Robbie, Robbie uh, Simpson is going to be tough. He's a 215 guy. The guy who got second, also uh, from Scotland, I believe. He's also run a 215 within the last year at London, so uh, a great runner as well. And uh, you get a, a mix of some international guys mixing it up, mountain guys, road specialists as well. So it takes a lot of speed. It's a very runnable race. I love the Young Crow Marathon. Really honored to be out there. I did run a minute faster than I did last time there in 2012. Which I was happy with, uh, but I think I could go sub three eventually. I ran 305 high and got fifth. Would have been a lot better to be top three, but it was a, a close margin. It's a matter of minutes, so I was trying to improve there. I think it needs more of a focus, but I'm doing the Golden Trail series. Flew out here to Scotland in the Highlands of Scotland. Beautiful. Uh, two days before the race, Ring of Steel. It's the last race to get points in the Golden Trail series, and I really want to hold on to the top 10 ranking. I wasn't originally going to do this race because it's a week after Young Frau, which is a Horrible idea. Don't do what I do. Don't race marathons and ultras on back-to-back -back weekends. Your legs are, my legs are tired. I'm not gonna lie. And this race is also the most technical one in the Golden Trail series. That's what they say. Who knows what the weather will bring? We're out here. You see uh, Ben Navis. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, the tallest mountain around here. Uh, epic hiking trails and, and beautiful mountains, waterfalls. Uh, I just got in yesterday, so kind of a little tired from the trip, but uh, adjusting the jet lag better, at least from US time. And this is going to be a loaded race. Uh, like I said, I, I wasn't going to do it originally, but then I saw that if I hold on to my top 10 ranking in the Golden Trail Series, I need a good finish here because I need to get better points than I did at Zagama, right? Zagama was really bad. It was also right after doing a Copenhagen Marathon, but it's also very technical. So that's the goal is to improve and, and get that scoring better to hold on to the top 10 spot. Because I threw myself into the Golden Trail Series this year, I'd really like to make the final in South Africa. And, uh, you know, there's 5,000 euros on the line, a lot of prestige to be top 10. It's a lot of international Solomon athletes. Killian Jornet's here, uh, his teammates, uh, Steon is here, who won last year. A lot of local talent, a lot of international guys, Mark Lauerstein, uh, just to name a few guys, guys that are really good on technical stuff, guys that are local, guys that could really kick my butt. So, you know, this is one of those races where I say, you know, 
it's going to be really hard to podium or win or even probably be top 10 for someone like me, especially coming off a young foul uh, six days ago. But, uh, you know, I'm going to try my best and have fun out there and enjoy these beautiful trails. And it's an honor to toe the starting line in such a pristine environment and such a, a classic uh, line and, and beautiful mountains in this side of the world and to meet so many of you out here, hopefully. So that's the idea. That's the goal. And we'll let you know how the race goes after the race because, uh, yeah, it would be really nice to hold on to that top 10 ranking and that's kind of a, a big draw and incentive, but uh, there's more to it than that, right? It's, it's about getting the most out of yourself, getting into the experiences, doing these different environment races, competitive races, loaded fields, uh, pushing your boundaries on technical terrain. For me, it's gonna be very, very technical and extreme. Hopefully I won't hurt myself and fall or, or die or something like that. So uh, if I do put this video on the internet though, thanks so much for your support on here, guys. Really, really appreciate it. Again, hope your running's going well. Sorry I haven't been uploading as much recently. We've had shoddy internet, Wi-Fi connections, and been traveling a lot. So try to get this up. This will be probably much later than uh, maybe a week from now. But uh, yeah. <laughs>
big, finish strong. This is our leading lady in the 2018 Scouring World Championship from Sweden, Toma Alexanderson. Wow, we nearly got caught. What'd you get? cinnamon roll so uh, hi there back in boulder here transported uh from scotland to boulder it's a week later over a week later uh but just wanted to do a quick recap on the golden trail series how i felt about my race at ring of steel which you saw some footage there thanks to sandy for crewing for me she had to crew for me so it wasn't possible to film me coming through that aid station but that was kind of a non-technical part of the course there were some class three scrambling ridgeline traverses uh oh yeah vegan cinnamon rolls I made this morning for breakfast. Minimalist Baker, good recipe. Set those down. Uh, I got some coffee as well, because I like something sweet with my coffee. Carb up. Anyway, yeah, I took a, I've taken this week off from running. A rare planned break, intentional break from running to kind of recharge the batteries. Recharge the system because my legs were so sore and beat up and I was just exhausted after racing on back-to-back -back weekends with the Jungfrau Marathon and then six days later the ring of steel so yeah racing on back-to-back -back weekends and then traveling between different countries uh, which is a huge honor it's a huge honor a huge privilege to be able to have this international trail running experience and to be able to complete the series like i mentioned in the pre-race little clip i i wasn't planning originally on doing ring of steel because i knew it was super technical it's the most technical it's way more technical than zagama it's like nothing i've ever experienced in the u.s and i've, I've run like the rut 50k in the u.s and some sky running types of races in the US and nothing really you can't really simulate it very well I don't think it's super steep a lot of mud knee deep mud shin deep mud river crossings scrambling on rocks that really scare me because you could fall off a cliff and, and die in a couple of spots and, and hikers have on the ring of steel traverse so yeah I got my butt handed to me out there and I kind of knew that going in and Killian won an uh, amazing time course record uh, all the guys that finished ahead of me were just flying on these downhills and I'm like trying not to break my ankles and my quads are sore and they hurt and I noticed on the there's a big climb it was a seven or eight thousand feet of climbing uh, so that's like what 2,500 meters maybe over less than 18 miles right 29k race and so it was a really short race it wasn't even a marathon I tell people I've, I've run seven marathons this year including the speed goat 50k uh, including road marathons like Houston Copenhagen and uh, you know, Mount Blanc marathons at Gama. I've raced a lot this year, right? Seven marathons, over 10 competitive races, some of the mountain races, shorter mountain races. And, you know, my best race when I was probably the most fit was probably the Shamrock Run 15K in Portland, Oregon in March that I, I won going into to Boston and, and running 219.50 at Houston as well, which I posted on Instagram today, at Sage Candy on Instagram. Still ranked top 10 in the country in the US this year for American men for 2018 in the road marathon. And then also proud to finish top 10 overall internationally in the Golden Trail Series to kick it off and, and to be uh, the top American at Ring of Steel. But I was 18th place there, so it's pretty pretty humbling uh, place in the finish so far off. Uh, I really have no excuses though. I, I tried my best and I had all, all the support, uh, thanks to title sponsor Hoka One One, as well as uh, the, the race organization and the people and the Golden Trail Series uh, for making this all possible. I'm super excited to be able to go to South Africa in about four weeks to, to do the Otter Trail Run and uh, to be the, you know, the, the competition was really to be ranked top 10 after Ring of Steel and I accomplished that goal by improving my place from what I did, the points I got at Zagama, because I knew that was a, it was going to be fiercely uh, competitive and all the guys that who could have bumped me off the top 10 raced pretty well at Ring of Steel, so it was definitely the right choice to be there. But really enjoyable trails, great running, trail running community on Scotland. Sandy and I hit up some of the plant-based local joints uh, in, in Glasgow and in Fort William, as well as 
just being in, in Europe, it, there was, it's just a great experience because uh, it's a lot different from the U.S. and a lot different from the trails and the mountains. And you know, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm never gonna be a great technical downhill runner. I'm not, I consider myself to be not horrible at, at technical downhills, but compared to guys at the very, very top level, like Killian, who are the best in the world, probably at, at technical downhill, and a lot of the guys actually in the top five at Ring of Steel, I noticed are, are actually very good ski mountaineer athletes, or at least most of them are, which is a totally foreign sport to me as well. Maybe I should get into that. I don't think Boulder's the best place for it, and uh, I do road running in the winter anyway, but you know, the technical downhill is picking your line, taking risk, but also having the musculature to support it, as well as just knowing how to navigate these rocks and, and cutting lines uh, is, uh, is really a lot different for me than, than road running and, and net uphill races, which are more my strength, probably like Young Frau Marathon, as well as just even running flat road marathons like Houston, uh, which is what I'm used to. And so it's, it's, a, it's almost like a different sport. And these, these different races in the realm of mountain ultra trail running uh, can be very, very different, right? Do you see the results at Pikes Peak are very different than uh, the Ring of Steel and the, the results at even Mount Blanc Marathon could be, well, Killian won both, but uh, it's a lot less technical than Ring of Steel, whereas Ring of Steel and Zagama may be a little more comparable with the mud. Ring of Steel was definitely more technical than Zagama, and I thought Zagama was technical, so we'll leave it at that. But it's a learned skill. It's a learned skill. I think you could improve your uphills on runnable stuff, on technical stuff, on the downhills. I need to work on my power hiking on uphills. The whole second climb at Ring of Steel when I look at the elevation chart, I'm like, oh yeah, it's gonna be great. I could I could make up a lot of ground on this this climb, but it ended up being just a power hiking climb because it was so steep. So everyone's power hiking, it's it's very marginal who who gets better at that, and I'm that's one of my weaknesses as well. So I was getting passed more on the second climb when the initial climb was more runnable, and I was in the top ten at the the top of the first climb. But my legs felt a little tired from Jungfrau. Uh, not an excuse. I totally planned that. I don't recommend it racing uh, these races, it's it's very demanding on the body. And like I said, I've raced over 10 times this year and over seven marathon distances and, and, and over. And I try to pick really competitive races. So it's it's been a lot of fun. It's been really rewarding. Excited to be top 10 overall in the Golden Trail Series. Excited, thanks so much for following along on this journey. For all your supportive comments, I know I'm gonna thank you to the Patreon supporters for really making all these videos possible. And uh, yeah, I just, I can't thank you guys enough from the bottom of my heart. I really hope your running's going well. We're gonna have more informative training talks on here as well as stuff you guys like to hear about. You can comment, like up, uh, thumbs up videos that, that you wanna vote or topics that you wanna see on this channel as well as constructive criticism or uh, anything you guys wanna talk about, your share your own running stories as well. It's always great to meet a lot of you guys in person at, at these different races around the world and I realize it's a, it's a real privilege and I, I feel very, very fortunate uh, to, have, to be able to take part in these amazing races in amazing places and the community's just been so generous so thank you so much guys hope your running's going well uh and definitely stay tuned for more sage running videos i gotta dig into the cinnamon roll now uh yeah definitely check out uh our website pushing website any service any distance training plans at sagerunning.com coach shani and i run that as well as you check out the young and proud marathon recap as well as other older videos on this channel archived and check out Sandy's channel as well. Running wild to believe. Thanks to Sandy for filming and crewing for me out in these races. Thank you guys, and stay tuned for more.